Hello everybody, welcome to our Enshrouded Survival Guide. So, the devs have recently released uh, a brand new feature, and I'm so excited about it, just because it makes crafting and, and all that so much easier. They have found a way to bring in universal storage, and that is through making magical chests. And that's what we're going to be making today, magical chests for universal storage. So, uh, it's a free uh, update, as in, like, you don't really need to defeat a boss or anything technically to like unlock it uh as long as you have uh like the small what is it called the storage chest that's i think it's a small storage chest unlocked you also get uh this guy unlocked and i think to get this if you don't have this particular recipe unlocked yet you might need to potentially uh recruit the blacksmith he might unlock it. i can't remember exactly what unlocks the actual small chest but i think it might be him um and then uh when you unlock this you also get the small magic chest because it's basically the same thing just that this has universal storage and we actually read right here it says that the items stored here can be used for crafting purposes from anywhere in the base which we love so let's talk about uh making this so the ingredients or the resources that we need we need one small chest which is this guy uh shroud spores 15 of those and then 15 shroud liquid so uh we'll work on the small chest first which you just need you know six wood logs and then six nails and what i wanted to show you i actually have one magic chest already it's over here in my little uh growing kind of uh warehouse that's what this is going to be uh, i have one right here and i've put basic basically like most of my resources in here um and i, I obviously i want to make another one because i need a little bit more uh room if you couldn't tell so uh everything that is in here i'll be able to access now i don't have enough nails so we're gonna go run to the blacksmith and he's gonna make some for me and because i have that those the um the metal inside that chest he can pull he's pulling from the chest he's not pulling from me so we need what like i don't know let's, we'll just make a bunch uh so that's six that should hopefully be enough i don't remember i definitely did not pay attention to how many nails i had just out of curiosity how many do i have i have three seven why do i have a weird number <laughs> uh let's go make some more i guess because that's a little bit uh weird but that's fine there we go. I have the, the metal scraps to, to go. Okay, so we should have enough now. Uh, more than enough, really. And here we go. Here we go. So we have what we need. And then we have that. So we just need the shroud spores and the shroud liquid. Now, if you don't have these, they're very easy to get. Um, I have some in my non-magic storage, which is where we're going to move these into. But I could probably use a little bit more. Uh, and I'll just quick show you how to grind these. You're going to have to go to the shroud for them. Let me grab my sword. There we go. Uh, and to get the spores, uh, the, the in my opinion, like one of the easiest, there's two easy ways. Uh, and that's to... Oh, hello there. You are stuck. That is to fight the actual uh, shroud people, the enemies, inside the shroud. Or you could also... Uh, um, collect them from like uh i think like some specific things drop them um that's where you're gonna get sh uh, shroud liquid right here these like little uh mushroom questionable looking things some of them um and you'll get one like per little thing you can also if you have like a felling axe or something you can also hack these guys and that'll give you a good amount of uh shroud liquid as well i just like to go from uh, these little pod things just because it's a lot easier to just, just like kind of like run by like there's a bunch down there for example i could get so much liquid just by like running by and just getting what i need to get so we're just gonna do that boom 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 and if we can find a guy oh there's one right there excellent we can uh we can collect our spores from him there's a bunch of them here Got a guy with a spear here. Hello. There we go. So let's go ahead and just collect everything. Oh, he's got runes for us. We'll always take that. There we go. It's one spore anyway. We'll take it. We'll take it. He's got two. All right. So you're going to have to kill quite a few of these guys. Uh, and considering that they're, like, all over this place, you know, it's not going to take nearly as long as it looks. So let's just run back real fast and get back up to where we got to get to. Uh, but once you have enough, obviously, you can then make your magic chest. And I always recommend, like, 
if you're kind of getting low on some resources, especially when it comes from the shroud, you know, take the take the time while you're in there to just kind of like harvest, you know, fight some enemies, grab some stuff, just so that you don't have to go there again. Um, it's just kind of like all going in like the the same sort of you know uh, purpose. Like you're you're there to do something, might as well do these other things too while you're there. All right, we're almost home. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a, it's a journey. All right, so now that we have what we need, we're gonna go ahead and quick make this a magic chest. There it is, crafted. It's in our inventory. We're gonna go put it over here. And I'll just put it right next door, boom. And then I'm gonna put basically like all of my shroud stuff in here. So like this and this, the torn cloth, I guess I can put in here. Cause it kinda, kinda goes with the enemies that you're fighting. And then I'm gonna move the other stuff that's like inside this chest over there too and then i can like clear this place up which is kind of nice because it kind of just opens up the little blacksmith area here which is really like what that's supposed to be for and then i have like my own little warehouse here put my shroud wood in we'll put the myceliums there I guess I'll put rubber there, sure. Oh, not that. We don't want to put that in there. And that's about it, really. So now if I go back to this, you'll just quick see that, like, before I, the, the, it wasn't pulling the, the resources, because that was in the other chest, but now we can see that it is pulling from that. So that is how you go about it. So if you want universal storage, which honestly just makes uh, crafting just so much nicer, especially because, like, you know, if you want to, like, build, like, a building or something, I no longer have to have, like, tons of shroud wood or whatever on me. It's literally just right over there. So makes life easier. I highly recommend making it, and that is the, the process of doing so. And that's about it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you found that helpful. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.